The Great Silk Road linked east and west for thousands of years. Caravans of camels and mules carried the spices and silk that gave the road its name, from China and India to Byzantium and Europe. Ideas too, and beliefs and culture, traveled this road. Azerbaijan, a center of Islamic civilization, lay for at least 5,000 years at the heart of this age-old ebb and flow of spirituality and knowledge, goods and people among the great civilizations of Europe and Asia. The spirit of Azerbaijani people was shaped by this flow of travelers and ideas. The Silk Road helped to develop a unique Azerbaijani characteristic a fusion of hospitality and tolerance towards people of other races and religions. Down the ages, travelers have recorded their impressions of Azerbaijan. In the 15th century, diplomat Ambrogio Contarini journeyed from his home Venice to the court of the Shah of Persia. Of the people living in Azerbaijan, he wrote, the Muslim people here are friendly. Asked who we were, we would simply answer, we are Christians, and this would be enough for them. Later, the 17th century German scholar Adam Oliarius noted that locals and foreigners were allowed to travel and trade freely. Azerbaijan was no closed society. Azerbaijan was a center of Zoroastrianism, one of the first monotheistic religions in the history of humanity, according to some scholars. Throughout ancient times, followers of Zoroaster, from Persia to India, considering fire as a symbol of divine purity, performed pilgrimages to the land of fires, Azerbaijan, to worship at a site where tongues of flame shot from the earth. Those flames, we now know, were natural gas, which ignited as it escaped from the ground. In the 18th century, Parsi merchants from India, traveling along the Great Silk Road, discovered the ancient site of a fire temple. They were granted permission by the Muslim rulers, called Khans, of Baku, to build here the Atashka, or Temple of Fire. Over time, Atashka has become one of the emblems of Azerbaijan, Hearth and home, intertwined with the values of Islam, are reflected in the country's state symbols. Jews first settled in the hospitable land of Azerbaijan in the 5th century BC. Seeking refuge from the destruction of Jerusalem by Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, Jews found peace and sanctuary here. They prospered, able to preserve their religion, culture and identity for future generations. At the end of the 17th century, Fatali Khan of Guba granted Jews land to establish a major settlement near the main city of the Guba chieftain in northeastern Azerbaijan. It was given the name the Red Village because of the color of its roofs. This settlement brought together Jewish people from all over Azerbaijan, as well as neighboring Iran and Dagestan. Today, the Red Village is considered the biggest compact settlement of Jews living in diaspora. Throughout its history, Azerbaijan has been more than just a safe place for Jews. According to several international reports today, this hospitable land has gained unique prominence as a country with zero anti-Semitism. The first Christians came to Azerbaijan as early as in the first century AC. According to the medieval historian of the Caucasian Albania, Moses of Kalankatuik, Saint Eliseus, a disciple of Saint Thaddeus of Edessa, arrived in Gis, a town in the Caucasian Albania, the ancient predecessor of modern Azerbaijan. 
Here, as the annals of history says, he built the first church in the Caucasus, and three centuries later, Christianity was accepted as the state religion of the kingdom of the Caucasian Albania. Azerbaijanis preserved this ancient church, which is in the modern-day village of Kish, in the northwestern region of Shaki. Even after 2,000 years, this temple still receives a stream of pilgrims from all over the Caucasus. Another ancient church from Caucasian Albania is in Kamuk, in the north of Azerbaijan. It may be hard to believe, but even today, Muslim Azerbaijanis and Christian Georgians come together at this unique church to celebrate the festival Kumakoba in Christian tradition, the St. George's Day. Over the years, with Azerbaijan becoming the world's prominent petroleum production center, oil magnates, philanthropists, and government officials have contributed to the construction, preservation, and renovation of many non-Muslim shrines. An outstanding example is the Cathedral of the Holy Mirth Bearers, built in 1909 by prominent Azerbaijani Muslim oil tycoon and philanthropist Haji Zainalabdin Tagiev. This beautiful church was restored by another prominent Azerbaijani businessman in 2001. Islam, the latest of the monotheistic religions, rapidly spread in Azerbaijan, starting from the 7th century. Islam has played a crucial role, alongside other ethnic and geographical factors, in shaping the national identity of the people of Azerbaijan. Since the early Middle Ages, the dominant current of Islam among Azerbaijani religious scholars has been Tazawuf, the traditional Islamic teaching of self-improvement and spirituality better known in the West as Sufism. Numerous Sufi brotherhoods appeared throughout Azerbaijan, greatly influencing the spiritual life of the Caucasus and beyond. 15th century Azerbaijani Sufi sheikh Said Yahya Bakuvi was instrumental in establishing the order of Kalvatiya, meaning retreat from the world for the sake of the inner cosmos. Even today, followers of his order can be found from Anatolia to North Africa and from the Balkans to Malaysia. The rich heritage of Bakuvi had a huge impact on the spiritual and cultural life of the entire Islamic civilization. Sufism, which propounds love, brotherhood and harmony with people, regardless of their ethnic and religious identity, has played a major role throughout the Islamic world in spreading tolerance towards other religions, cultures, and races. Independence from the Soviet Union at the end of the 20th century came to Azerbaijan at a high price. Another neighbor, Armenia, waged war against Azerbaijan and seized 20% of its land, including Azerbaijani's cultural heartland, Karabakh. But even the destruction of mosques and tombs in these still occupied territories has not been able to shake people's respect for other faiths. The Armenian church still stands, not only undamaged in central Baku, but also renovated by the Azerbaijani government. In 2010, it was visited by the Armenian religious leader, Catholicus Garrigan II, after an official meeting of the leaders of world Christian churches with President Ilham Aliyev. During the war in Karabakh, representatives of many ethnic and religious minorities living in Azerbaijan, such as Albert Agarunov, a legendary tank commander and national hero of Jewish origin, sacrificed their lives in defense of the homeland. The atmosphere of tolerance in Azerbaijan has been praised by the world's most influential religious leaders. In 2002, Pope John Paul II visited Baku at the invitation of the nation's leader, Haydar Aliyev. During the visit, the Pope delivered aid for Azerbaijani refugees from Karabakh, victims of ethnic cleansing 
and consecrated the site for the building of a new Catholic Church of the Virgin Mary's Immaculate Conception. Seven years later, the erection of the church was completed with the assistance of the Haydar Aliyev Foundation, headed by the First Lady of Azerbaijan, Meriban Alieva, Committed to bridge the historic traditions with the modern development of the country, the government of the Republic of Azerbaijan launches new projects, both at national and international levels, to foster the atmosphere of interreligious tolerance and respect. In 2011, as part of a set of initiatives to rebuild historic places of worship, and along with the renovation of old and the foundation of new mosques, President Ilham Aliyev initiated building of a new synagogue for the Mountain Jews. In the world of tension of identities and cultural backgrounds, the rapid development of modern Azerbaijan is tempered by its unique spirit of intercultural and interreligious harmony. Moreover, Tolerance is not only one of the fundamental principles of the government, it is an intrinsic characteristic of the Azerbaijani people, who continue to safeguard their beloved country as the land of tolerance. Azerbaijan, land of tolerance. More than just tolerance.